at 1 o'clock. I'm Leela Feinstein. And I'm Glenn Walker. Fish and uh, game officials are trying to figure out just how to get that wayward dolphin out of the area and back into open water. KTLA's Christina Pascucci is near Huntington Harbor with the very... The L.A. County Coroner's Office is conducting an autopsy on one of its own officials as investigators say that he may have died from arsenic poisoning. KTLA's Elizabeth Espinosa. Police in Lake Elsinore hope a suspect sketch will help them track down the man who tried to kidnap a 15-year-old girl. All right, well, one day away from the weekend. It's That's very right. exciting. Big question is, will you be able to fire up that barbecue outside? Meteorologist Jim Castillo, he's got all the answers to our time. It's gorgeous out there, but the roads, yeah. yeah, looking like everyone's trying to get an early start. You know what, though? Might have a solution to that slow traffic on the 10. Okay. That's right, coming up, the end of an ambitious project to expand public transit here in L.A. We'll take you live. She was the victim of a crime so disturbing that it sparked outrage across the nation. But now, 10 years after the infamous Heidel gang rape, the woman at the center of it all is breaking her silence. Chip Yost is live in Santa Ana with the... <laughs> ouch, ouch. No, wow. Mike's not used to that. That is pretty bad. Mm. All right, coming up, it's getting more expensive to drive to work or anywhere else. Yeah, and it's not that, uh, yeah, it those is. pictures that they're showing you. Okay, and what we want now is an amazing weekend. Yes. Because, you know, we, we've had some rainouts lately, and the, we don't want that this weekend. It would be nice. <laughs> Friends, we're on this one, but uh, we'll have more traffic and weather in the next half hour. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jim. More of your top stories are coming up next. Sarah Welch live at the unveiling of a massive new metro line. Metro line authorities are on hand for the first big ride. The expo line will open to the public tomorrow. KTLA Sarah Welch is live in Exposition Park. Business news, you can check out latimes.com slash business. Still to come, a way to get your vegetables without all the pain and suffering. Pain and suffering? The American Cancer Society says there is now enough evidence to confidently say that exercise and a good diet could prevent the return of cancer. That cook them with a lot of butter and put some cheese on top of it. That always works for me. <laughs> for the latest health news, click on ktla.com slash health. We now know how and why she got an invite to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Lohan will be the guest. That it looks like he's got the Republican nomination sewed up. Mitt Romney could be appearing on Saturday Night Live. Earlier this month, Romney... Well, if you ever want to own clothing, furniture, or jewelry from some of your favorite TV shows or movies, we've got some answers for you. That's right. Gail Anderson shows us where you can get all of that. And keep it simple and keep it cheap. You know, may maybe no guppies, but Gail was right. Those shoes were to die for. Yeah, I'm not not wearing the uh, the ones with the guppies in yeah, them today. You can see that. <laughs> but I loved those uh, those those slippers, the ones that looked like uh, the ones from Wizard of Oz, except in purple. Mm -hmm. Even better. It's got you all over it. Most definitely. All right, still to come, a delicious dessert just in time for the weekend, and no, there are no vegetables <laughs> involved. We will. Oh! All right, in today's Eat Beat, LA Times food editor Russ Parsons whips up a sweet treat with mixed berries. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, it's the uh, music video edition audition that has over 3 million views. But what is it that made it a viral hit? Well, our Allie McKay has the details from North Hollywood.